Welcome to the Financial Life Podcast with me, Ben Robel. This is episode eight. We're going to continue what we've been doing for the last week or so, which is to add nuance and detail to the posts I've been putting up on Instagram. In our second week, we're dealing with, let's call them five better questions than the ones that we reviewed in week one, which were the ones I used to get most often. Question number four is, what do you do? Or to quote one of my favorite movies, Office Space, what does it just say you do here? This is a two-part question, people and then process. So let's start with the people first. In this case, we could be talking about people or we could be talking about apps. Your financial life is much broader than the investments we've talked about at length, but not in great detail. Even the investment world is deeper than we've discussed because there are so many different aspects to it, whether that's asset classes or portfolio management or specific metrics around specific investments, like interest rates or the economy or inflation. But alongside investments, to name a few, are banking, insurance, planning, debt, and even topics that don't necessarily enter this conversation as often as I think they should, managing your payment platforms, like your credit cards or Venmo, alongside budgeting, the topic we all love to hate. Each of these topics has an app that focuses on it, that's available in the marketplace. And in many cases, there are people in the world, whether they are individuals that you pull together yourself or members of a team that you work with who specialize in each of these topics. Your objective is to understand how those pieces fit together, how they're compensated, and how each of those specialties applies to your particular circumstance. And that gets us to process. If you do this as a DIY and you pull together a number of apps on your own, then it will be left to you to pull together the insights and conclusions from each of those places to build a framework you can use. Larger organizations are going to have a defined and some would say cookie cutter process that they run to build that framework for you. That's collecting your information, building a forecast, bringing each of the relevant specialists to bear on whatever you do or quote should have in that area. And then ultimately sitting down with you, putting whatever strategies you agree on into place and deciding what to do in the future alongside how often to meet, et cetera. Ultimately the process you decide to run, whether working with one large organization coordinating among a group of organizations or doing it all yourself will be based on your comfort level with aggregating and synthesizing information from all of these different experts. I would say that it is a rare individual who has the time, inclination, and ability to do this effectively and more importantly, to do it consistently. As I've said for the other podcasts this week, If you're in the process of evaluating some advisors or think you may be soon, I hope you'll take this question as a suggestion. I hope you found this valuable. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the rest of your week.